Woke Supremacy News. When you platinum and you're getting 50000 a show, I've been there. There's a door that you can walk in. I'm not sure if it's homo or if it's Illuminati. <laughs> You gonna leave me? Just stay with me a little while. <laughs> that nigga say, <laughs> where the sword at? Nigga pulled the sword out. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> it's been a long time since I touched my axe. Oh my God, take the what he said. <laughs> You gonna leave me? No. You're going to stay right here. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Nigga say, yo, <laughs> I'm gonna eat your heart out. <laughs> Take the what and leave her. You're gonna eat my heart. <laughs> Yo, that was the last draw. <laughs> Nigga said, you wanna take pictures? You nasty son of a, listen man. My prayers go out to some of those families. No, my prayers go out to all of those families. But I'm gonna say this, right? What did everybody say about Hassan Campbell? When Africa Band Bada got the 12 year old Hassan Campbell, started playing with my age and all types of shit like that, right? But I'm gonna say this that's some disgusting shit. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not, I gotta be careful what I say, and I realize that. I'm, listen, man. Come drink with me. <laughs> Come have a drink with me. You're not gonna stay with me? Yo, the nigga put on a movie. A demonic movie. If I take one more drink, I'm going to end up with Jeffrey Dahmer's. Nah, nigga, take the white and lead. Yo, son, he like, sit down. Nigga, sit your ass down. You ain't going nowhere right now. We getting ready to come up on the fave, the best part of the movie. <laughs> Yo, so you telling me. All of them young boys died because they was horny. They were nasty. Niggas was nasty. They were nasty. But I'm going to say this, right? Boosie. Go sit your illiterate son of a... Go sit your... Go sit yo 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 going back to yonder ass down. Yo, kumbaya, black a, a boosy, go sit your stupid ass down. You about one of the most unworthy black celebrities that I've ever seen in my life. Nigga, go sit your worthless ass the fuck down. Go sit down. Cause for one, it's like the movie. Do I think the movie should be taken down? Hell no. I think every parent across black America and white America need to take their children and have them examine the minds of all serial killers. 
every serial killer need to be studied. Every pedophile, every sex offender should be studied. But a nigga like him, he on a different level. There's a difference between the hood serial killer, because Boosie, you a serial killer too. So I don't think you should be talking. Boosie, you got about seven, seven to eight homicides that the streets know about. Nigga, you a serial killer too. You ain't no different from Jeffrey Dahmer's, my nigga. Allegedly, you body just your, your baby mama's brother. So you sitting up there, you want to have a voice. Shut up, nigga. Shut up, Boosie. Just shut up. Nigga, your body just, allegedly, your body your baby mama's brother. What, what, what voice you have? If you're not going to use your voice the proper way, serial killers need to be studied. We need to see more about how, we need more movies on how people be getting caught up in sex trafficking rings. Because sometimes once they take your child, you never get them back. We need more movies on how a dude like that. <laughs> One, two, Jeffrey's coming for you. The nigga, come with me. Let's go watch TV. You want to have a drink? Like, nigga, how you go up in a nigga house that smells like dead bodies? Because he got dead bodies in there. And the smell alone don't trigger your spidey senses because you so horny to go up in his jellyfish, his, 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 his duke shoot, that you just want to go up in there with oh my whitey. And he ain't smelling like cold cuts and wet dog. This nigga smelling like death. And you go up in his house, how you drink and swallow to a smell like that? I'd be like, hold up, I left something in the car. Pew! Like, nah, I'm out. Uh, no. Nigga bad. As soon as you walk in his room, he's bad. Got a big old blood stain on it because he done caught body stool. And you still sitting in his room? Come on, man. If you're 30 plus, you're no longer a hot girl. You're one of the golden girls. I can't, I can't hear the music playing now. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Nigga said if you're 30 years old. You a golden girl. Thank you for being a friend. Yo, that was stupid. That was funny. We needed a laugh. <laughs> nah, you know what? My wife is still beautiful. I don't care what nobody say. I don't know about y'all niggas. Yeah, but we all up there in age. We getting up there in age. <laughs> like, nah, man. This nigga up in the crib with dead bodies in the refrigerator opening up with a head in the refrigerator grabbing a Budweiser like here. Head smelling like hell. Here, you want some of this? That like, yo, how you don't... The LGBTQ community mad. Because they feel like Jeffrey Dahmer's should not be incorporated with them. No, nigga. He's exactly one of you. Own up to it. Try to push that nigga off on us? He one of y'all. Don't try to push him up off on us. He want a yaw. What, you can't have gay psychopaths? Yeah, you can. For real. Now y'all want to be mad. Like, no. Why, why y'all keep trying to make yourself look like y'all the best people in the world? You're not. You're absolutely not. You can't say nothing about, about the LGBTQ community. You can't, like, so you got a, a, a gay serial killer, but you can't call him a gay serial killer, man? Get the hell out of my face with that. Everybody mad at, yo, let me tell you something. Rick Ross. Let me speak up on behalf of Rick Ross, my nigga. First and foremost, every time Rick Ross do something, y'all not going to bring up, oh, I put a Mickey in her drink and she ain't even know it. That was the past. We, we got to stop punishing black people for every single thing. Every time you turn around, like when he say something, he said, yo, where could I get a pair of those shades? Those Jeffrey, Jeffrey Dahmer shades is hot. I collect, when I get in front of the camera, I put these lopsided glasses on because I be trying to see the screen or whatever, but I got glasses. These are Tommy Hilfiger joints, but these are dweep, 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 dweep. Nigga, I got glasses galores. 
So I understood what Rick Ross said. Yo, where can I get a pair of those glasses of me?